welcome you all in the name of Jesus to receive the blessings from the throne of grace. I'm here in Indonesia. Let us pray. Father, we come to you through the blood of Jesus to thank you for this blessed time. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your help and guidance. We thank you for opening our spiritual eyes to know more about Jesus and to become like Christ. We thank you for Indonesia, President, Prime Minister, Government authorities and the people of Indonesia. We bless them with the word of salvation. We thank you for all the unbelievers throughout the globe. We bless them with the word of salvation. We thank you, Jesus, for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for opening our spiritual eyes to know more about Jesus and to become like Christ. Thank you for Israel and Israelites. We bless them with the peace and salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for your death, your resurrection. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you for the gift of life. We love you. We bless you. We give you thanks for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear children of God, Lord Jesus is coming again into this world. Before he comes into this world, he wants us to receive his miracles into our lives. Why Lord Jesus came into this world first time? Lord Jesus came into this world first time to give us a life and the life in abundance. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, so he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Praise be to God. Lord Jesus came into this world for every human being. Jesus Christ died on the cross for every human being. And after three days, he rose again. Lord Jesus is coming again, second time. Before he comes into this world, he wants us to know that we have a purpose of God in our lives. Number one, Lord Jesus wants to use each one of us as his instrument and as his vessel. My dear children of God, why Lord Jesus is coming again, second time? Lord Jesus is coming again, second time to give the reward for the righteous people, everyone who believes in Jesus. The book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 7. Behold, I'm coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. Thanks be to God. The book of Revelation 22 verse 12. Lord Jesus said, Behold, I am coming soon. Before I come, I will give the reward according to what He has done, according to the work that He has done. Believe in Jesus and receive your miracles, my dear children of God. Lord Jesus has a plan for you and for your family. Do not worry about your situation. Do not worry about your problem in life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming again into this world. Lord Jesus has a plan for you and for your family. We are here to bless you all. Thanks be to God for this blessed time in Indonesia. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming again into this world. Why Lord Jesus is coming again? He is coming again to give the reward for the church, for the believers, for everyone who believes in Jesus Christ, my dear children of God. Secondly, Lord Jesus is coming again to take the church to be with him forever and ever. Thirdly, Lord Jesus is coming again into this world to establish his kingdom on this planet earth. Fourthly, Lord Jesus is coming again into this world to rule the whole world for 1000 years. Millennium day. Praise be to God. Sin separated man from God. Lord Jesus is holy. He is a holy God. He is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Son of God. Jesus Christ is God. Believe in Jesus and receive your miracles. Dear children of God, first book of 
Peter chapter 1 verse 15 and 16. Jesus Christ is the holy God and he wants us to be holy. Praise be to God. Whoever may be you are, wherever may be you are, do not worry about your situation. Do not worry about your problems in life. Lord Jesus is going to establish you. Lord Jesus is going to bless you all abundantly. My dear children of God, I am here to bless you all with the word of God. Jesus Christ is coming again. Before he comes into this world, he wants to bless you, he wants to use you. So believe in Jesus and receive your miracle today. John the Gospel, chapter 14, verse 6, Lord Jesus says, I am the way, truth, and life. Lord Jesus has a plan for you, for your family, for your children. Believe in Jesus Christ and receive your miracle. Every problem that you are facing today is only for a short time. When you believe in Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord is going to help you to come out of all the problems that you are facing. We are going to pray for you. Dear children of God, Lord Jesus has a plan for you and for your family. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 helps us to know I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can do many things through Christ who strengthens you, dear children of God. Maybe you are thinking the problems that you are facing will not leave you. But let me tell you the truth. The book of Mark chapter 10 verse 27. With men it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Every problem that you are facing today is only for a short time. When you believe in Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord is going to help you to come out of the problems that you are facing. The Spirit of the Lord is going to release the love of God into our lives. The book of Romans chapter 5 verse 5. We shall receive the love of God into our hearts by the gift of the Holy Spirit. So do not worry about your problems. Do not be afraid of your situations. Believe in Jesus and receive your miracles. John the Gospel chapter 14 verse 14. Whatever you ask in my name, I will give you. The Lord Jesus says, dear children of God, believe in Jesus and receive your miracle. I am here to pray for you all. Let us pray. Agree with me and pray. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your death, your resurrection. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation. I believe in my heart. Jesus died for me on the cross. After three days, he rose again. Say after me, I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I welcome you, Jesus, into my heart as my Lord, as my personal Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me to love our Father in heaven, in spirit and truth. Thank you for helping me to forgive one another. I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. When you pray like this, you will see the miracles in your life. Lord Jesus wants to use you and Lord Jesus wants to bless you abundantly. Shalom. God bless you.